this, this gradient, range 70 to 50, uh, 90 millivolt, average 80 millivolt, is maintained mainly through the charges of the sodium potassium uh, ions, okay? That there is a different concentration inside, outside the cells. And as mentioned earlier on, important for many, many functions. When the voltage drops below 70 millivolt, metabolism is slowed and inhibited, causing the cell to become unhealthy and unable to cope with its usual functions. Cancer cells are known to have only 20 to 30 millivolts of charge, causing greatly reduced conductivity, affecting normal metabolism, and causing cells to behave abnormally. However, fever and inflammation could temporarily uh, uh, cause a raise in the voltage to above 90 millivolts. Okay? So now we, have, we know of a way on how to help the cells maintain this healthy electric right, potential in its membrane. Okay, so using the electric field therapy, also called el pass electrostatic therapy, electric potential therapy, we use very high voltages up to minus 9,000 volts, but very low current. You have a high voltage, high current, you will die. Okay, high voltage but very low current. Five years ago, I was in Beijing testing another type of therapy. Low voltage, high current. Low voltage, high current. <laughs> you actually buzz. <laughs> really, you see stars. <laughs> uh. Right. This one you hardly feel anything because it's very low current. Okay, and we use only our uh, domestic AC supply. So this high negative voltage creates powerful electric potential and electric fields which diminishes exponentially <coughs> away from the source. Meaning, when you sit down, right, then you get benefit most. Then the further away you are, then the impact is less and less. Okay. And most important also, since we're talking about electric current, electric voltage, that it must be safe, right? And eLife is certified safe in Europe and USA, as far as I know. So what does electric field therapy do? First, on the cells. Right? This revision of what we know earlier on, but more detail. So it maintains healthy cell membrane potential. So when that is... When that happens, then the cells can do what it's supposed to do perfectly. Every cell needs oxygen, right? To live and to survive, to do its work. So now we're talking about the cells, so they can take as much oxygen that they should be able to take. Then they can take as much nutrient as possible, right? When the cells take nutrient, then we call it assimilation, right? You all are familiar with this term. You are what you eat. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, it's only one fifth correct. Yeah. Sometimes what you eat come out, come in here, go out here, you benefit nothing. Right. Yeah, because you are what you eat, digest, absorb. Okay. Assimilate. That means. So whatever nutrient, the food you eat, must be digested, and then must be absorbed, right? Absorbed, then just to go to the blood system, right? But until it gets into the cell, it's still no use. Assimilated, but even after getting into the cell, assimilated to the cell, it's still no use if the cell cannot use it, all right? Because even a nutrient in, in, in the cell function is very complicated. The nutrient is only one of many things the cell needs to do its work. Right? It needs enzymes, coenzymes, mineral, you know, co co nutrients and hormonal signals, macha macha. Okay? So you only you are what you eat is the simplest saying, but it's only one fifth correct. Alright? It is only you, whatever you eat is only useful to you when finally the cell can use what you eat. Hmm? 
example, eh, just to illustrate how important if you understand this. You know, puasa man, the Muslim first day puasa very late, right now, nah? Half day, 3 p.m. already dah mengantuk nak tidur. Buka puasa time, just one glass of syrup also recharge. True nak? Betul? Yeah, because when you puasa, your sugar level goes down. You, alright, you tired. Low sugar, no energy. You tired. One glass of syrup, ah, huh? better still lah syrup Bandung. <laughs> Then the glucose goes up. You are energized, correct? Yes. Then how come those people with diabetes whose sugar level is three, four times your level, they are not three or four times more energetic? <laughs> Instead, they are three or four times more sick. True or not? Yes. Okay. You know what's the problem with them? What they eat? Yeah. Okay. They digest. Right? They absorb. True or not? Otherwise, the sugar will not go up. But it stops there. The sugar is not assimilated into the cell. It remains high in the blood. Does not get into the cell. You understand that? Yes. And that applies to every nutrient that you eat. Okay, and all of them require hormones, cofactors, coenzymes, macam, 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 macam. Hmm. Okay. Now, all right. Then this healthy cell, cell membrane potential allows uh, waste and toxin disposal. Improves ionic transfer, improves energy production. So many of the cell functions will be improved when all these things happen. Okay, improves cell division and improves uh, protection against invaders. So that applies to all cells. Okay, schematically, this is what happens. Okay, so you have the cell, then you have the membrane potential, all right, the charges, all right, so this is the healthy level. Okay, in fact, more than 90 different substances, this is just illustrative, but especially oxygen. Okay, so when you're able to maintain this, then energy production is proper, because you can see 50% of the energy produced is used up in the cell membrane. How important is the function of that? cell membrane. So how important it is therefore to maintain it in a healthy right? Potential. Healthy charge. So once you do that, so with EFT, you can restore this membrane potential. If it's weak, then you can allow proper function. Pause are when the products or the, the nutrients or the chemicals go in and out. Alright? Oxygen and nutrients can be brought in easily and waste can come out.